In December of 2013, the Safapani team traveled to the villages of Nawalparasi in Nepal. We saw firsthand the impact of arsenic contamination. Here's what we learned. In the wells we tested, arsenic levels reached 250 parts per billion. That is 25 times over what is safe to drink. In every village, symptoms of arsenic poisoning were appearing on the hands of the villagers. This woman says she feels embarrassed to shake hands because of the scratchy marks on her skin. Out of the six villages we surveyed, five said arsenic was the biggest problem in their community. But when we looked at the filters NGOs had already provided, many were abandoned. This is a conscience filter. Because it is group scale, the caste system has kept village members from using it. The filter is now used as a bench. Sono filters are difficult to maintain. When they break, people don't bother to fix them. One family now uses its Sono device to store rice. A better solution is in order, and our team wants to make that happen. During our trip to Nawalparasi, we conducted a study to find the concentration of arsenic and other elements in household tube wells. We also performed a social analysis to determine what users need and want. Equipped with this information, we are now perfecting our prototype, which uses electrocoagulation to remove arsenic. Our main objective is to ultimately sell an affordable filter that users want to use. With the support of Thayer's human and technical resources, we believe we can achieve this goal and make a positive impact. Starting with this community,